Hey, so my name is Tanika J. Smith, and right now I'm just wanting to just go over my hair journey or my hair history and how I got into the place I am now with my hair. So when I was about two years old, my mom's friends convinced her to give me a relaxer because my hair was really, really hard to manage. And so that was like the thing to do. Well, if it's hard to manage, just go ahead and get a relaxer. Then it's always straight. You don't have to worry about fighting with the hair so that you can part it. You could just go in, part it, braid that hair up, and be on your way. You don't really have, at least at that time, she didn't really thought she had time to really wrestle with my hair. And then back then, there wasn't as much knowledge about hair as there is today. So they didn't really understand that it's a lot easier to manage if you you know, implement certain techniques such as doing the hair or detangling the hair while it's wet, using a lot of conditioner, deep conditioning the hair, um, starting from combing the hair from the ends to the root. Things like that, that makes it a lot easier to deal with your hair. So with that being said, they didn't even know it was curly hair. We, you know, just always thought you had that kinky, nappy hair. Like if it's not like that texture that, comes when you're like mixed like everybody don't have this texture when they mix or whatever but like just that loose curl some refer to it as 3c or 2c hair um anything but four <laughs> anything but four so with that being said i got a relaxer when i was two years old and i remember my mom always telling me that i was like using the box to hit my head like the box that the relaxer comes in because it was burning so bad and she didn't know what to do and she felt so bad and with that being said, I had like hair sores because when you do get a relaxer, if you, first off, a relaxer is a chemical potion that is used to relax curls. So with that being said, it's chemicals on your head. They ain't unsafe about that. With that being said, leaving that product on your hair for too long can cause such an immense dehydration and just, you know, chemical reaction that it causes your head to have hair sores. Literally, it scabs in your hair because your hair, your scalp has been burnt. Like it's been burnt by acid or something, but it's a relaxer. So with that being said, I had hair sores and she felt so bad. She's like, I'm not doing this. Like, you know, going forward, might give me a relaxer. So she didn't. She actually started pressing my hair. Um, I wore braids, I wore twists, you know, you know, typical little girl hairstyles. And my mom actually went to school to be a cosmetologist, so she learned a lot about hair. But back then, natural hair wasn't as popular as it is now. So even though she learned about natural hair, I don't think she really learned how to deal with natural curly texture. So she still was doing like roller sets on people's hair, but most people was wanting like French rolls, you know, relaxers, shortcuts, stuff like that so with that being said she really did that and i would as a little girl go to the shop and watch her do people's hair and i loved it and i used to want a relaxer so bad you know everybody had one she even had a relaxer my grandma had a relaxer my aunt had a relaxer like my cousins had a relaxer my sister and i were the only ones we didn't have relaxers we were still getting like pressing curls and i did not like it like i felt like i was like ostracized i felt like a left out like i remember in the fifth grade it was like this style that all the girls in my grade would wear and the way the style was it was like putting your hair in a ponytail and then fanning it out and then laying your baby hair style it was like now I look back at it crazy but back then it was like so popular and all the girls were doing it the most popular beautiful girl of my class had her hair like that well, I tried to do my hair like that, and it wouldn't work. My hair was just too thick. It wouldn't fan out. Well, now that I'm an adult and I know a lot about hair, I know that the only reason their hair was actually able to fan out was because it had been fried so much from relaxers. So they didn't have a lot of hair. And the girl who initially started the trend, I would argue that she actually did that to make her hair look thicker. And then it just caught on and other people started doing it. Well, needless to say, my hair never did it. I would try so bad to get my hair to do that, and it just it wouldn't do it. So with that being said, in the seventh grade, I finally convinced my mom to let me get a relaxer, and I loved it. 
she was so reluctant to agree to this because she didn't want me to have a relaxer. Like, she knew the dangers that it caused. But me, I ain't care about none of that. I wanted a relaxer. I wanted to have easy, manageable, straight hair. The images that I saw at that time were of women who were a lot of complexion than myself. And if they did not have straight hair, they had super duper beautiful, wavy, curly hair. It just looked like you could just run your fingers through it as though it was straight. So there wasn't a lot of representation of women who were as dark as me and women who had natural hair. So I really felt like ostracized. I didn't feel like I belong. Guys were attracted to me. I was always like the homie, the homeboy, like the friend. I was never someone that people were was I didn't I didn't I didn't get approached like the other girls. And that took a toll on me. I felt ugly. I felt, you know, not accepted. You know, I just really felt like, why am I this person, you know, who nobody likes or, you know, don't look like anybody else. So I got my relaxer, needless to say, and things changed. They really did. I don't know if it's a situation where I just got more confident and that affected it, or if it was a situation where the boys, just like myself, were being influenced by society. And so because I had straight hair, they found me more attractive. I got my straight hair. I straightened my hair like maybe twice a week. And after a while, that wasn't enough. I wanted to start adding a few tracks in. At first, it was like maybe one or two tracks in my hair just to make it a little thicker. That wasn't enough. Eventually, I started having like full sew-ins. That wasn't enough. And then sometimes I just had a full wig, like an actual wig. I'm in high school wearing full wigs, you know. And even though I was doing all that, I still never always, I still never felt completely beautiful because even though I looked good, it wasn't who I naturally looked like. I go home, I take all this stuff out. I don't look like that. So it's like, are you really beautiful? Or can you just make yourself up and look beautiful? So I still had some insecurities with that. Well, when I got to college, I wore sew-ins for maybe one or two years. But as I got into my junior year, I just couldn't afford it. And I had one person I would go to on campus who would, like, do my hair for, like, literally $30. And that person graduated. So I had to really, like, all in, like, what am I going to do? And at the time, I had a roommate who had been natural her entire life. And one day, she saw me washing my hair with suave shampoo. And she was like, what in the heck are you doing? Do you even love your hair? And I was like, what's wrong with this? You know, because I was so used to not really wearing my hair. You know, I was just used to just cleaning it and braiding it right back up. Well, cleaning it, relaxing it, braiding it right back up and sewing some hair on it. So my hair under the weave was like, I don't even know what it looked like, but it had to be damaged because I didn't take care of it. I literally I didn't even condition it. I didn't even wear it for a day. I did not wear my hair, period. I hadn't worn my hair in like eight years. So when I stopped being able to afford to get sew-ins and relaxers, I started wearing my hair. And the first time I wore my hair, I did not like it. I really didn't know how to feel about it because my roommate was like, oh my gosh, your hair is so beautiful. It's so thick. But I'm sitting there thinking like, but it doesn't look like your hair. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, it doesn't even hang. It sticks up. And it's a fro, but it's curly. Like, I just didn't understand. I'm just like, what am I supposed to do with this? I just didn't know how to feel. And I was dating a guy at the time. And, you know, you're dating somebody, their opinion means the world to you. So I asked him when I first saw him, like, you know, you like my hair? And he was like, I don't know. And it was so hurtful, you know, because I'm like, he don't even like it. Like, nobody likes this. This isn't me. So, with that being said, I had to really go on a self-journey. And I initially started off trying to figure out how to do my hair. Because initially, even though I didn't like it, or I'm not going to say I didn't like it, I didn't know how to feel. Even though I didn't know how to feel about it, I didn't have a choice. I could not afford to get sew-ins, get a relaxer, none of that. So, I had to make it work. And I did. I did research. I found girls on YouTube with texture like myself. And I learned how to do my hair. And it became more than just um, me doing my hair. It became more than just a, a lifestyle change. It became a, literally a self a journey for to self-love. I got to a place where I was in love with myself. 
Like I was so, because my hair was so important. And when I say it's so important, I'm just mean like it, it literally would take a day to do my hair. So when I needed to do my hair, I would have to schedule everything around it. And I needed to decondition my hair twice a week. So that means two times out of the week, I can do nothing but prioritize a whole day toward doing my hair because I, it just was like that, you know? Well, during that time, I'd be thinking about what I want to cook, what I want to eat. I'll think about the music I like, my goals, where I want to be, who am I, how am I going to do my hair when I get done with this? Like, I just would be doing that. And then when I wasn't doing my hair, I was thinking about how I could do my hair. What